35th of the year for Austin Riley. He's got 35. Azuna's got 37, I think. I mean, Riley has got 51. They come at you. They Cooney's come at you. He's got his 35. It's a lineup that is connected, right? And in this segment, we're going to talk about players that connect lineups that aren't necessarily stars. So we're not talking about Matt Olson. We're not talking about Mookie Betts. We're not talking about Freddie Freem. We're talking about a guy who might get overlooked, who yeah. is very important in that lineup success. Who do you Man, got? I, now I think about it, I should have said Ozzy Albies. Because you think about it, he, gets, he has 20-some home runs every season. Yeah. And when he was out, you could see the difference that he made. He'd but be a good one. The guy I'm thinking of tonight, since we have a game coming, is Glaber Torres from the Yankees. I, I think he gets overlooked. I think he's having a really good, solid season again. He's one of the top players in the league. I love the fact they're leaving him alone at second base. Mm -hmm. I think the experiment to short threw him off for a year or two. And then they, then they had D.J. LeMahieu. So he hadn't really found a home until again this year. And we're starting to see what Glaber does. And as up and down as this Yankee season has been with injuries to Judge and Stanton scuffling and everybody else around him and Rizzo's out, he's been the stabilizing factor. Who would have said Glaber Torres is going to be our stable guy? Yeah. Yep. He's the connector, Matt. Right, that's a I good I love thing. that. Criminally underrated, I think. Yes. I think he would get a lot more love if he wasn't in the Brock and those pinstripes. I think people would value him more. But it's such a, a hard line on what success is if you're a New York Yankee. But I think this guy has been underrated for years in that uniform. Yeah. Right? Who do you got, Cam? You got an under well, a connector? Well, well, for me, it's hard to not talk about the best team in baseball right now, and that's the Atlanta Braves. And the big bear, we'll go to the A, a.k.a. Marcel Ozuna. I think mm. what Snit has done, being able to inject this guy in the middle of this lineup, all of a sudden you're worried about Albies and you're worried about Acuna and you're worried about Olsen and we talked about Riley and all of a sudden Daryl Zuna is just hanging around six, seven hole and, and when you think you got through the weeds, all of a sudden there this guy is. We talk about since July 28th, 44 games, a 3.43 average, a 4.14 on base percentage and a 7.17 slug. I mean, uncredible. Is that good? That's pretty good. And then you talk about off-speed, <laughs> right? Good. This guy is third in off-speed damage behind Belly and behind Olsen, his own teammates. So you talk about putting him sixth, seventh hole. You got Michael Harris hitting the ninth hole. You know what this I like guy right here, the, the damage number you threw out there. Yeah. Because that's what you have to do as a protector. Exa You're exactly. Exactly. You're going to get those pitches. And his ability to work a count and get himself into good counts, I mean, he continues to get better with age. He started out slow. I mean, we thought maybe a DFA type slow start, but yeah. Yeah. boy, has he turned it on. I think he has been a huge injection of life. We know he's got the celebrations. He's going to bring the energy. He's toned it down a little bit. Him and Ron at third base, they've toned it down a little bit. But you <laughs> love his energy. You can tell his teammates feed off of him. They love playing with this guy. So my guy is Marzello. He's oh, slapping now, hey, he, he started he, another one. I got hey. a guy who also started slow. And this is going to sound weird because my guy's hitting 208. But he scored 85 runs, and he's driven in 98. Wow. How so? Because the guy gets on base like a freak. I call Max Muncy count full count. Mm. Because this dude yes. is one of the most selective hitters in the game. Uh, among players with a 220 batting average or lower, and I get this gets a little hairy with weighted runs created plus. I'm not Brian Kenny, but I think there's some value here on this. His WRC plus ranking, his number at 121, better than Schwarbs, better than Jack Sawinski. Here are among the virtues that he has. He sees an average of four and a half pitches against starters. That is way above league average which is about 3.8. He, dare, he rate, dares you. He never swings. <laughs> I mean, he, I'm telling you, he drives you nuts. And, and that, those are called team at bats as well. You talk about all those pitches over, over the course of the game, that gets you into that bullpen a lot quicker. You talk about his at bats. And you have a lot of guys around him that work the counts as well. So you have him doing that, all of a sudden now that pressure to, to see how long your starter can go, all of a sudden starts to subside a little bit because you have that guy. So. The, the average isn't there, but he still has those team at bats, and that's what you love to see. Mad and he, and he's good got, at he's got people around him that mm -hmm. you got to pick him up if he walks. He scored that many runs. Yeah, exactly. that means somebody's picking him that's up. That's right, and, that, and that's the important part of that. Tonight, he and the Dodgers face Blake Snell, who's trying to add to his Cy Young platform, and he's a guy that'll walk a few people too. Yeah. That's gonna be a fun <laughs> one to watch.